Tracking an active day tomorrow as we'll have strong winds and rain to contend with as you're heading out the door. A wind advisory in effect for all of mid-Missouri through much of tomorrow, and that's because we're expecting sustained winds around 25 to 35 miles per hour gusts up to around 45 to 55 during the day. So it's going to be very breezy and we'll have those showers moving in early tomorrow morning, sticking around through much of the day. We're going to see high temperatures though because of the winds still making it up into the 50s. So it's going to be somewhat mild, but that wind is going to continue to be strong even as the rain starts to move out early tomorrow evening. Things are quiet for now. Cloud cover already starting to approach from the southwest as those showers start to work in ahead of low pressure. Here's what our future track looks like getting into tomorrow morning. We'll start at 6 a.m. Make sure you have a sturdy umbrella tomorrow because those winds are going to be in full force. I'm expecting that rain to stick around through much of the day. By late afternoon, it starts to move out from west to east. Temperatures still making it to the 50s, but as we get towards evening, rain starts to thin out a little bit. So if you have evening plans, the main thing we'll have to deal with is the winds. Getting into Wednesday, it's a little bit chillier in the morning as we're starting out in the upper 30s, but the afternoon will warm up into the upper 50s to around 60 before a cold front works its way in. Likely going to see some lagging precipitation moving in towards evening. We'll stop here at 6 o'clock on Wednesday. We'll start to see a few showers trying to work their way in from the west. The main thing we'll be watching Wednesday night into Thursday, though, is snow starting to develop just out to our northwest. There's a chance we could see this moving in and giving us a little bit of light accumulation into Thursday morning. Around a dusting to an inch is possible here in the white zone from about Vandalia back towards Warsaw and points north. It is going to be a wet snow, so I'm not expecting too many travel issues. However, if you're heading farther north than, say, about Brunswick to Maine, we could end up with upwards of one to three inches or more of snowfall Wednesday night into Thursday. And that's where road conditions would be a little bit tougher to get around on much of Thursday. Good news is we'll cool down a little bit at the end of the week. We'll get down into the 30s. It'll be chilly, but we're going to have a nice weekend ahead. I'm expecting sunshine on both Saturday and Sunday and temperatures getting close to 60 degrees to end the weekend. Here's my seven day forecast looks like we're still making it to the 50s tomorrow, despite the strong winds in the rain. Wednesday, it's briefly warmer, but temperatures cooled through throughout the day as a cold front works its way through and then I'll be tracking rain and a chance for some accumulating snow, especially north of I-70 to Thursday morning. It's cooler as that system works its way through with highs in the upper 30s Thursday and Friday, but the weekend is definitely looking nice once again with highs in the 50s on Saturday near 60 on Sunday.